Hello my dear friend, I am Kaneya Gupta and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve Kangaroo Hackering problem. But before moving ahead, make sure you have subscribed to my YouTube channel. Let's get started guys. In this problem, you are given two kangaroos on a number line ready to jump in the positive direction. The first kangaroo start at location 1 and moves at a rate of v1 meters per jump. The second kangaroo starts at location x2 and moves at a rate of v2 meters per jump. You have to figure out a way to get both kangaroos at the same location at the same time as a part of the show. If it is possible, return yes, otherwise return no. So let's go to the input format, a single line of four space separated integers denoting the respective values of x1, v1, x2 and v2 where x1, v1 is the integers, starting position and jump distance for kangaroo 1, x2, v2 are integers, starting position and jump distance for kangaroo 2. So let's see the sample input guys. So this is the sample input. We have given a four integers x1, v1, x2 and v2 and same you can see in this diagram also. This is the x1 which is 0. So 0 represent x1 position and then we have a v1. You can see this is a v1 which is shown by a 3 unit of distance. Then we have x2 which is 4. So this is x2 and then we have v2. So you can see this is v2. 2 unit distance for each jump. So this is what we have given and we have to figure out whether both the kangaroos will meet at a same location at a same time. Here guys at the same time means it's equal number of jumps. You can see kangaroo first is reaching after 4 jumps and kangaroo 2 also reaching after 4 jumps. So here time is nothing they are talking about the jumps. So after how many jumps both will reach at the same time. Here they are not interested to know the how many jumps exactly. They are just asking you to tell whether they will meet or not with the given x1 v1 and x2 v2 all the parameters. So here your task is to tell whether both will be able to meet at a same location at the same time or not. Here same time means it's a same number of jumps. So this is the problem guys. Let's understand this problem in more detail and try to build a logic around it. I have taken a same example guys which was mentioned in a hacker and platform and each and every parameter x1, v1, x2 and v2 are represented in a diagram. x1 is the position of kangaroo 1, v1 is the velocity or the distance which kangaroo 1 covers in each jump, x2 is the position of kangaroo 2 and v2 is a velocity or a distance which is covered by kangaroo 2 in each jump. And our task is to identify whether both will meet at a same location after a same time. Here same time means after a same number of jumps. So let's see how we are going to do it guys. If you remember in a school days we used one formula. I hope you remember this velocity equals to distance upon time but here we have velocity we have distance but we don't have a time but as I said here time is nothing it's just a jump so I am just changing this formula a little bit and making it this velocity equals to distance upon jump so if you calculate the distance it will be v into j. 
So now we know guys, we have to make sure both will reach at the same point. It means both has to travel the same number of distance. So let's assume the distance is something x, y, anything and both should cover the same distance. So suppose I am taking a kangaroo 1 first. So kangaroo 1 will cover x1 because it starts from x1 distance plus a velocity v1 into how many jumps. So we don't know the exact jumps so we are taking j here. So the distance covered by kangaroo 1 is x1 from where it starts plus v1 into j. So it will cover suppose up to n, it will cover n distance or it will reach a n location and the same location the kangaroo should do should also reach the same location suppose this is n. So after x1 plus v1 into j kangaroo 1 is reaching to the n location and the kangaroo 2 also should reach the same location right. So we can see x1 plus v1 into j must be equal to x2, the x2 kangaroo 2 distance, I mean kangaroo 2 position from where it starts plus v2 which is a kangaroo 2 velocity into j because after the same number of jump both should reach at a common location which is n. So we can make this equal right distance travelled by kangaroo 1 and distance travelled by kangaroo 2 should be equal. Now you just simplify this equation. Let's see guys. So we can see v1 j minus v2 j equals to x2 minus x1. If we take j common then v1 minus v2 is to x2 minus x1. So j equals to x2 minus x1 divided by v1 minus v2. So this is the formula guys which we have received. So the number of jump will be equals to x2 minus x1 divided by v1 minus v2. As the, the is mentioned clearly in the question the number of jump should be equal. It should be both should reach at the same location at the same time. It means same number of jump and we know jump which is mentioned via j it cannot be a floating value it means jumps will always be an integer like 1 jump 2 jump 10 jump 20 50 but can never be 1.25 jump 1.78 like that so we have to make sure if j is a integer value it means both will reach at the same time if j is not a integer value it means they will never reach at the same time. So how will you check that j is an integer value? If you are pretty much good in a mathematics then definitely I hope you spot it. To check this condition whether j is integer or not there is a simple mathematics we have to use. We know if we divide this x2 minus x1 via v1 minus v2 if it's a pure integer it means the remainder will be 0. So what we have to check? We have to just check if we divide this quantity via v1 minus v2 remainder should be 0 or we can say x2 minus x1 in computer we represent remainder via modulo operator v1 minus v2 it should be equals to 0. If it is equals to 0 modulo or you can say the remainder is equals to 0 it means both will reach at the same location at the same time. So if the remainder we can say r is equals to 0 it means both will reach at the same time. So what will be the condition guys to solve this problem if which is very simple guys remainder is equals to 0. What is remainder guys? You have to calculate this and I am saying this as a remainder. If remainder is equals to 0 it means 
both will meet at the same location at the same time. So we have to return yes. So we can return yes. Else we can return no. Very simple case. But one more thing which you need to validate first before taking the remainder. V1 must always be greater than V2. Why? Because Kangaroo 1 starts first and Kangaroo 2 starts later on. So Kangaroo 1 will be able to catch Kangaroo 2 if velocity of Kangaroo 1 is greater than V2. If it's not, then he can never be able to catch this Kangaroo 2. So we have to check if there are topmost condition guys, V1 is greater than V2. So default we will return no, but if this two condition is satisfied, if V1 is greater than V2 and remainder is equals to zero, then both the kangaroo will meet at the same location at the same time. I hope guys this is clear to you. Now we'll see the algorithm in action guys. So this is the function guys and this function is accepting four parameters x1, v1, x2, v2. So what as we have just discussed what we have to check we have to just see whether v1 is greater than v2 or not. After that we are just checking for the remainder and this is the same formula guys which we have just derived. So if this is equals to 0 it means both kangaroo will reach at the same location at the same time. So we are returning yes if this condition are not meeting so by default we are returning no. So I hope this problem is clear to you guys. It's very simple and precise code. So let's run this code in a hackerank platform. So you can see guys sample test case got passed. Now I am submitting this code. Congratulations guys. You have done a good job. So now you can see all test cases got passed. I hope it's pretty much clear to you guys. And if you need the source code, you can download the same from my GitHub repository. And the link is mentioned in the description box. Thanks for watching guys. And please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye bye.